Um, we're going to have a look at um, alt tags in Foundation 6 uh, being one of the 12 most common accessibility challenges. So let's pop over and have a look. So here we are, simple page um, with a title, picture of some people having fun on the beach, and then another picture of um, underwater. So we'll just publish this quickly and then we'll have a look at what is going on with the images. So here's our test page. So there is the picture, which obviously someone who is visually impaired will have difficulty seeing it and someone who's blind won't see it. So let's see what information is contained. So down here, the image has got a really weird, um, it's not a name, is it? it's a number, doesn't mean anything for a screen reader and there is no alt text. Um, we'll just check on the other one. Um, okay, so same thing, um, a, a number for the image, not very helpful and a no alt text. So we go back into Rapid Weaver. Um, so with Foundation 6, Joe's very kindly just given us a placeholder here so we can just write in the alt text, which I've already done. Um, so we put that in there. And now on this one, um, this is really candy. Um, it, it, the, the picture, you could say it's uh, um, a blue you know, blue water with the sun streaking through, but really because it's so small, it's there, I think, just purely to draw the eye to the, what I've uh, labeled as, as the candy text. So we'll leave that blank and then the screen reader will know to dismiss it. Um, but we just come back to this. It is so easy to add in that bit of alt text. Um, so we'll just publish that. and go back to the page and refresh it. So we get the tool again, let's have a look at that. And there we, now we have it, alt text, photograph of a beautiful beach with a group of people standing around a fire with the sun setting in the distance. That will now be read out on the screen reader. So it'll give the screen reader and the person using it a bit more information about that article.